You remember the game Where's Waldo? No. Come on, really? Yes, I do. Of course you do. How long has it been a hot minute since you played Where's, Where's Waldo? Where's Waldo? Yeah. No, uh, we have a version, of a book of it for the kids. It's a Where's Mickey. It's, oh. it's the same thing. I, pl I was playing Where's Waldo yesterday, and I didn't find Waldo, but I found Kate Middleton. Just... Welcome back to our stupid Rex of Corbin. I'm Rick. Follow us on Instagram, Twitter for more juicy content. Thank you to every person on Patreon. Follow us on official Twitter accounts. Grab the like button. I've rearranged our room, and I actually have, for the first time, our million plaque, like, out. Yeah. <laughs> it's there. And as always, the ever quiet but ever present Shah Rukh Khan. Yeah. It has some stains on it just because of sometimes I get horny looking at it. And so. Yeah. But, yeah, it's understandable. It's true. Um, today we got a, a little interview. This is actually um, Shahid felt shortchanged in Padmavad. Are you familiar with the whole Padmavad controversy? I've heard a lot of things about that. I feel. I think from what I know, because from the first time we watched it, I heard kind of going scuttlebutt. You know. Yeah. Um, I think he thought he was going to be more of a centralized carrot. He was told by Sanjay, I think. That he was more of the centralized character. And, and he, then obviously the way the cut is, he's a, well, very much a supporting Forget character. the cut. There's something that happens in the Hindi industry, and I think it happens in all industries. I could be wrong, correct me if I'm wrong, but I do know it happens in the Hindi industry, hmm. which is just mind-boggling here, is that people will agree to do a film before they read a script. Yeah, that is true. <laughs> Um, I think it was that doesn't happen here ex except for on very rare occasions. I mean, you'll see reels of actors talking about things and they'll say, what's most important to you is it? Well, script. I saw a, a reel recently of Alan Rickman talking about a, you know, making decisions about a film and he should, he, he should have known beforehand because there was no, it was Ted Danson. Ted Danson said he was, he, he, every time he's ever had a quick, mm, I don't know if that's going to work, but he did it anyway. Cause they said, Ted, we love you. And we're going to pay you a lot of money. It always, he should have listened to his gut every time, but it was cause he was reading the script. Yeah. Yeah. Um, and so I, whether he was, didn't get the role he thought he was promised. And then obviously on top of that, Renvier gave one of the iconic Hindi performances of the age uh, in Padmavat. And so people, I guess, were talking about him. I, that's just all stuff that I've heard. Yeah. Um, and I remember that because, well, wasn't this our first Shahid film? It was very early on. So I, possibly. Think it, I think it was. And, and we he really, a really good performance. We really liked him. Yeah. Yeah. Um, no, no shock. And even now, in retrospect, knowing the expansiveness of what he can do and what we've seen, I still like his performance in so that. Do I. It's, I think he did a very strong, solid job. But obviously, um, so Ranvier, why does he feel shortchanged? I don't know. But Ranveer obviously had the iconic performance. That's that's going to go down as one of the most iconic villains in Hindi industry, right? Ever. Um, but that's I mean, that's Christian Bale has said that about Dark Knight. Yeah. How he came in to do that thing, and then he saw the work that was being done by Heath, and he said, "Good grief, <laughs> what was I doing?" <laughs> He's but like, without on his level. yeah, without any anim just holy crap, what that guy brought, I yeah, wasn't so, ready. I don't know, and I <laughs> doubt we're gonna. I, shit doesn't strike me as one person that's ever gonna just throw anybody no. under the bus. No. <laughs> Whether he has feelings, about right? It or maybe not. they, maybe he and Runveer didn't get along. Maybe who knows? Um, but here we go. Talking about insecurity, though, and does that play out? Because I'm only mm. talking about widely, re you know, reported uh, stuff about you. Of course, insecurity. Uh, yeah, one yeah, is, you know, we we read about how on the sets of, for instance. Uh, the film that you did with Vishal Bharadwaj, right? Which one? Uh, Rangoon. Yeah. And yeah. that, you know, you and Rangoon. What did you read about? What did you read about? No, the fact that you were not getting along with uh, Kangana, was that, was, that some, was that something to it? No, I got along fine with Kangana. <laughs> fine acting. That's a long time. <laughs> No, but no, because there isn't anything more to it, <laughs> right? Right. <laughs> because with insecurity comes a lot of these things, right? That you might feel insecure with. But with that's your interpretation that an actor is insecure, so there is a problem. But why do you think that is? Only no, no. Reason? I'm just, I'm just telling you what I read. I know, I know. Yeah. But I'm saying that there are so many things that can be there. If first of all there is a problem, yeah. The easier solution is to say those things. No, there could be so many factors. Right. But it's okay. People will write it. So let them write. 
Yeah. The other one that people, you know, people wrote about when I say people, I mean newspapers like ours only, is uh, when like you were doing Pad- Padmavat, for instance, and yeah. there were there were like you know reports about how you were not very happy. तू ऐसा सब लिखता है मेरे बारे में मैं फिर भी आके खुशी से इंटरव्यू करता हूँ मैं कितना अच्छा इंसान हूँ तो कितना खराब इंसान है मैं मैंने तो पहली बात लिखा नहीं है अब वो जो लिखा है मैं पढ़ू भी नहीं वो तो नहीं होता so is about Padmavat the fact that you felt slightly um you know short changed in that film did that happen shayad i did hmm. okay i don't want to get into the details sure i don't because i think everybody was fantastic in that film and everybody did a lovely job but i did feel at times i was like why did i make do this film like i felt like that yes mm. but i don't want to blame anybody sure. you know maybe i didn't have perspective at that time but at mm. that point of time i did feel like that does that happen to you often when you're in the middle of a film and wondering ah eh, kahan phas gaye Yeah, yeah, that yeah. definitely happens, hundred percent. What do you do then? You, you, you show up. You, you sign a contract. A job, you do the work to, to the best capacity. Yes, you mm. signed a contract. Oh my That's stars! What profession is all about. You know, you got to fulfill your duties and finish your job. Yeah, so for it. since we're talking about top seat of the career, what percentage of those films are there where you felt like you entered? I'm like, eh, no, early in my career, not okay. so much later. And like there are also good days and bad days, right? Mm. So that's okay. That's, but early in my career, yeah, sometimes I didn't feel like I fitted in. Absolutely, you have to because you have to do things years, I would not see that you wouldn't do. Now, nobody's interested in those things, 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 things about me. No, nobody's interested in those things about me now, na. Hmm. Now you have other twenty-four year olds to focus on. <laughs> you focus on them. Who are the twenty-four year olds or the early twenties that you think have a lot of promise in my films? brother Ishan? Yeah, yeah, he has a lot of promise. Who? Others. Yeah. A lot of them. I think a lot of kids are really good. Uh, And here, what he said. Who is in that 24 category? Acting-wise, my brother is better than most other kids in his uh, age category. Of course, there's a long way for him to go. Amongst the girls, all of them are good. You know, uh, Janvi, Sara, Ananya, uh, Rashmika. All of them are very good. I think all the girls are good. Shahid Kapoor, you've been fantastic yourself. Thank Lovely you. 20 years. It was a I great conversation. You, I enjoyed. Yes, I, I had great time too. I wish we did this earlier in life. Sometime. We will do some you know, more, I guess. Yeah, for sure. For <laughs> Thank sure. you so much, Ayad. Thank for you for joining. Us. I had a blast. Cheers. Thank you. My favorite was when he, <laughs> an- <laughs> when he answered in the beginning. <laughs> Kangana. Heard you had a lot of problems with Kangana. Is that true? Nope. Not at all. <laughs> Just don't know where you heard that. <laughs> well, I read it everywhere. Everybody was saying there was something wrong. Got along just fine. <laughs> it's, it's exactly what I expected, though. It's like, even if he had an issue, he's going to be professional. He's not going to tell you. He's not going to yeah. give you like the little, like the little headline. No. Of no, we didn't get along. No, me and Ranveer butted heads or whatever. Um, and like, I mean, as an actor, once again, you have to. If you signed up for it, you have to finish what you. Signed yeah, up and that happens. You're gonna have to pay a, a hefty. Uh... No, and there'll be bad days. There'll be times you're involved in in something, and you'll think to yourself, "Damn it, wish I wasn't doing this." Man, I always go back to the one time I worked with the director. And we <coughs> we me. hit but we butt heads on a daily basis in rehearsal. Mm-hmm. I just and it wasn't just about disagreements on what he was doing as a director and my character and me trying desperately to submit to him because he's the director and I'm serving the text and serving his vision but anytime I'd ask for something that would help me justify decisions as an actor he didn't really give a damn mm-hmm. and made it clear he not only didn't give a damn about that but he didn't seem to really clearly give a damn about me mm-hmm. and but I still came to rehearsals I didn't talk crap about him when I was interviewed for the show I didn't just now no name just, names right after after <laughs> the fact you talk it's nobody nobody would know who it is um Steven Spielberg <laughs> but but yeah I, and I I'd like to know a little bit more and I think he would probably talk about it because it's an it's an educational experience for actors who may find themselves in a situation like that where they could learn from him about what was it specifically that was a challenge was it that once you got there it was the work environment that you didn't expect it was the script because you hadn't read that beforehand maybe it was the fact that for example there's some people who love the work of Daniel Day Lewis but they don't like working with him hmm. Be- because same like Brian Cox notoriously doesn't like didn't like working with uh <sighs> Doug Gonnett hmm. the, the the full method actor on succession plays oh, one yeah. of his sons yeah, yeah, uh, yeah, yeah. Uh, dog gone and I can't believe I'm forgetting his name you guys know his name but Frank, loves him as a person Frank Cox is fun yeah loves him as a person but does not subscribe to what he does with his just act. with his process <laughs> yeah just hit your marks and don't but furniture stop it just act 
Um, so, yeah. Uh, I wish that was longer. I love Brian Cox. I do, too. I He is a gem. Not only is he a talented actor. I don't think... I, Maybe in his younger career, maybe I need to watch more of his young. I don't think he has much range when he's playing something. He's usually intimidating Brian Cox, uh, at least later in his career. Uh, I'd have to go back and check. The, I've seen him do some things. I've seen him do some things where he's he's pretty much himself most of the time. I mean, I haven't. He has a huge body of work. What's funny is in Succession, there's some scenes where when he gets really, really, really angry. Mm -hmm. The Scottish comes out. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, you can hear it in the voice yeah. a little bit. A um, little bit. And there's nothing wrong with actors that play themselves. I mean, we have iconic actors that are some of the great. Michael Caine yeah. is one of those that I think Michael Caine usually plays Michael Caine. So does Tom uh, Hanks. Well, no, yeah. Tom can sh shape shift. Tom, for the for most the most part, part, he's Tom. He's Tom, but yeah. he has done. He's a little more versatile than others. Yeah. Uh, but you usually, when I say that, I'm like, can you see this person? Um, in the in every performance they do, mm -hmm. Tom, you usually can. Yeah. Um, another one that the studios are trying to shove down your throats right now that I think doesn't have as much range as maybe he would like to is Timothy Chalamet. We're about to find out. Um, We're um, about to find out. Do you I know what his current project like is? That casting in the slightest. We're about to find out. His aura is the complete opposite of what Bob. I'm a big Bob Dylan fan. Always have been. You liked my line, Chet. Didn't you? Who? Kate Blanchett being oh, him. Oscar worthy performance. Yeah, yeah. I love that whole movie, by the yeah, way. I'm yeah. not there. But in case you didn't know, Timothy Chalamet is pr presently, I think he's just doing photos and they're in pre production, but he's going to be playing young Bob Dylan. I don't like it. In a biopic. Uh, but I, his, my issue with Timothy, I think he's a good actor. I do too. I, I love think, him. But my thing is, I, one, I think the studios are trying to shove him down everybody's throat right now. And of course. That's not good. He has way too much overexposure right now. I agree. I think. He will never be as good of an actor as he wants to be. I think he wants to be a Daniel Day Lewis. I think he wants to be that. I don't think he has the talent for that. I don't know. I'm, I'm talking talk about the shape shifting. Oh, range. you mean shape sh shape shifting? That that wise. We're about I, to find out. I think because this could, is the first role he's done. Everything he does, he's good. But I yes. always see Timothy. But that that's my point. He hasn't. He's never this disappeared. Is, this is the first time he's having to do something where he'll have to disappear. I, I don't think he but can. I, I don't think any of the roles he's done prior are the kinds of roles that would have allowed him to disappear. He was supposed to disappear in Wonk. <laughs> well, yeah. <laughs> Dune, I, and I enjoyed Dune. For, I haven't seen Dune 2 yet. Um, <coughs> neither, you've asked. Haven't seen it either. I've been waiting to see it with either of... Alexis wants to see it with me. My buddy Rich wants to see it. I'm hoping to get to it this week. Um, I've also been in rehearsals, so I've had a very great, busy schedule. But he didn't disappear. He was good. Uh, I've seen this thing he did with Steve Carell. He's, he's little, so good in women. that. He does a good job. Call me by my name. Yeah. It's always Timothy, though. Agreed. So in terms of the people I think are the greats, or like at least now, I, I and even his contemporary, I don't think he's as good of an actor as uh, Austin Butler. Austin no, Butler please. can shapeshift. I think Austin Butler's a fantastic actor. Austin Butler's... So, and he's a contemporary <sighs> of Timothy's. Yeah. But they're different. It's like saying who was a better actor as contemporaries, Robert De Niro or Jack Nicholson? Robert De Niro is far more no, of a changeling in terms of the the characters he can portray in the have different styles. That is like... Um, because Jack is always you. Jack, and it's, it's I mean, he's as natural and real as anybody on planet Earth. Yeah, it's, I think it's more like um, um, Bob De Niro and, and Tom Hanks, more, more like. Yeah. Tom Hanks, I, great actor. Uh, probably people, a lot of people consider him one of the all-time greats. I think he's a very great actor, but he's usually in his lane, as opposed to Bob De Niro. <laughs> yeah. In the top I, three, probably, yeah. of all time. Uh, so anyway, we got off on a tangent. Him. Shahid, one of yeah. the people that can shapeshift. Um, same with Renvier, uh, same with uh, Vicky, um, all those people. I also think something that Timothy struggles with is um, the fact that he's so scrawny. <laughs> um, and so it's hard. Like, you and, think he struggles with that? Oh, I know he does. Really? I, I know people that um, no, know, that know him and he's self-conscious about it? He's been trying to bulk oh, up. Really? No. Oh, but I, Dune, I feel you, bro. In Dune, you're supposed to need somebody that was like, let's say Heath Ledger's. Not mm -hmm. a buff guy, but he's big. Uh, he's but my heart goes out to Timothy because, bro, when I was your age, I had the exact same problem. Yeah. Exact same problem. Uh, I know I know he struggles with it. 
because people don't see him as like a, a leading man because they see him as a scrawny little boy because he's a little baby face. Um, he does, it's going to pay off in spades later, bro. And you're going to be able to choose anything you want to do. So, And I, I'm rooting for – I've always – from the moment I first saw him, I thought this kid is talented and I'm rooting for him. And he was really – you saw him in, in Wes Anderson's uh, – he was in uh, Grand oh, Budapest. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 I no, really, I, I really like him a lot. I think he's good. I just, I, I think the studios need to shop, stop shoving him down people's throats and giving him every single leading man role. I would love yeah. to see a breather between Dune Two now and and let him fully absorb himself into Dylan and see see what he comes up with. I'm, I'm, I, I'm, a, I'm I have zero hope for that movie. I'm rooting for him. Uh, anyways, let us know about this and any other information we need. Just